welcome back to RJ Scale Sheep and Replicas. Um, something that I'm asked a lot um, when it comes to my builds is how I get the colours and um, how my colours look so good on the models. Um, and yeah, I'm getting asked all the time for that. And basically, I'm going to try and explain this. Um, when I'm working on the models, the one thing that I use, or it's constantly present in my mind at all times, is what's called the scale effect. Now, I have tried to explain this by replying to people's messages and stuff. It's very difficult to explain um, at the best of times, let alone um, in text via messages. So I'm going to try and explain it. Um, the best way to explain the scale effect is, for example, Ocre have built a scale model of the San Alfonso. I'm not sure how big the San Alfonso actually was, but let's just say that HMS Victory is roughly about 230 feet long. Don't quote me on that, it's rough. Now, that is a big surface area, okay? So, let's just say the San Alfonso is roughly about 230 feet long, okay? If she's out of the water on in dry dock, okay, and you give the coat, uh, the hull, a nice coat of nice bright white, okay, over 230 odd feet, that is going to look fantastic. It looks nice and clean and look amazing. If you paint the exact shade of white, when you scale it down to, I mean, what's the old front so now? Roughly three feet, say. You scale that 230 odd feet of white down to three feet, that white will instantly overwhelm the whole bottom section of the model. Um, so what we're doing with scale effect is, in many ways, I, I know it's not an object, but we're actually scaling down the shade of colour that you're using. So you've got to Instead of having the original bright white, I mean, you know, think about it logically. You know, if, if, if a bright colour is spread over a large area, it won't look so dominant. But the minute you do it on a small area, the same colour, it will look overwhelming. So you've literally got to change that colour. Um, with my San Alfonso, we've still got the white hull, but the colour was completely changed. And I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but the quarter galleries and the stern go, and that, that is normal white. Okay, and if you look at the difference between that quarter gallery there and the, the white of the hull, it's a completely different shade altogether. The reason I can use bright white on the quarter gallery, stern, etc., is because it's a much, much smaller area. So you can get that nice, clean, bright white. Okay, but because on the model itself, the hull is a much, much bigger area, I've got to scale that down. Um, now, normally on most of my models, there's quite a lot of weathering involved. Um, and I was asked recently why I haven't done so for the San Alfonso. Well, the, the, the answer to that really is in the ship itself. The San Alfonso was a 74 gun third weight ship of the line of the Spanish Navy. Now, no ship of the line, in fact, no warship really, was ever left to get to a point where you started seeing paint coming off and you know lots and lots of heavy wear. They, they were always maintained to a very very high standard be that Spanish, French, British they're all the same. So that's why I haven't gone too heavy on the weathering on the San Alfonso but from the minute I started painting it I've had the scale effect in my mind. Um, you know when you're talking about scale models you know, you want to try and use as much matte colour as possible and try to stay away from as much of satin gloss. I mean, I haven't got any gloss at all apart from the odd metal part, like, for example, little metal rings on the anchors, anything that's, that's, that is actually metal. You know, that might have a bit of satin or gloss on it, but primarily I stick to mattes um, because you don't want any one particular colour being too much, too shiny, too much. You, you want it to all work at scale. Um, so yeah, that is the scale effect. Um, it applies to everything. Um, 
you've literally got to think of what it looks like as a, as a full size ship, but then what that colour would look like if you scale it down um, to a small size. So you've got to literally scale down the tone, the colour um, itself to match what you're working on. I hope that kind of explains um, the scale effect. Um, it, it is a really difficult thing to explain, but but that is basically it. You know, um, like Okra have done with the Saint Alfonso. You know, they they scaled down a real ship that did exist from however many hundreds of feet it was down to a model that is four and a bit feet. So you can't have the exact shade that the Alfonso would have been at three hundred feet when you're building a a four foot model because every colour be it the yellow the blacks um the reds the whites it would just be too much it would just overwhelm everything so you've literally got to keep true to the colour for example in the sunny alfonso white hole black yellow red so you keep you keep into the right colours but you've got to change the tones so that it still stays true but it looks right at scale um, you know, it's the only it's the only way I can really explain it. Um, it's the scale effect is really something you do. It's not something you think about. It's just something that you naturally do when you get used to it. Um, and hopefully, um, that has explained it a little bit better. Um, but if you look across most of my models, you'll notice that almost everything is matte. It's never shiny. Um, Unless, of course, obviously it's a piece of metal, or it's, or it's, for example, like the Solier Royale, most all the gold at the stern, um, you know, it's obviously it's shiny. But if you look at the blue at the stern, um, the white on the Sarah Alfonso, the yellows, um, most of the black, um, I think the the shiniest it get, gets is to a little bit of satin in the black, but the majority of it, especially in the masts, the yards, anchors. Uh, boats, it's all matte. Um, it just gives a much, much better scale appearance. And the minute you got start going too glossy um, at scale, you run the risk of going from what looks almost like a real ship to almost toyish. Um, doesn't matter how perfect the model itself is, it will just start to look more like a toy the more gloss that is used, the more shine that is used. Um, you know, the same goes for varnish. If you're going to use varnish, try and stick to mattes because it will give a much, much better scale appearance. Um, one of the hardest colours, but m m uh, most common colours where you'll see the difference in scale effect is in warships. Um, things like, uh, I'll give you a perfect example, the battleship um, Iowa, um, for example. You know, you often see most of the battleships are grey. But where scale effect comes into play is, I mean, these battleships were huge, massive. So when the whole thing was painted a particular grey, that exact same shade of grey on a model that's so long will look completely different to what it would look like on a real ship. That is basically scale effect. So you've got to basically scale down the tone so that you have the same colour, a grey for example, but it looks right at scale. Okay, and that applies to everything, be that you know the hull, the sides, you know, the mast, the yards. Um, I mean even my sails have been weathered to a point where they still look almost the same colour, but they don't look bright white, you know, because at scale. It just looked wrong, you know. You want, if you can do it right, you want to be able to step back from your model when it's completed, and see the whole thing, but not see one specific thing just instantly jump out of you because it's too bright. So there you go. That is the scale effect, guys. I hope that sort of explains it. Um, if not, then I do apologise because it, it, it is a real difficult thing to to explain but that is scale effect if you've got any questions um by all means give us a shout um but yeah hopefully that explains things a bit better and 
um, will help you apply the scale effect a bit better in your builds. Um, because that is all it is, guys. It's, it's just try to think of your scaling down the colour in the same way as the manufacturers of the kits are scaling down a wheel ship to a scale model. Exactly the same. So you've got to, you've got to apply the same principle to colour as you or the shade of the colour as you would do from a real ship to a scale model. Okay, there you go. So I hope that explains things. Keep on building guys and producing that amazing work. If you've got any questions, give us a shout. Um, you can find me on my Instagram page most of the time, RJ Scale Ships, um, or on Facebook. But, um, but there you go. I hope that explains the scale effect. And if you've got any other questions, just give us a shout guys, all right? Keep on building, speak to you later. Tana.